Okay, YouTube, so we have got my childhood Game Boy here. This is what I've had since 1989 when this was released. And it is in pretty bad shape. It's got a pretty scratched up uh, lens cover here. The shell definitely needs some cleaning. And I ordered some parts here from Handheld Legend. And some of these parts I've already gone ahead and uh, pre-worked on. But I'll show you what I ordered here. So when you, when you order from Handheld Legend, you'll get uh, a business card and a sticker. And there'll be some brown paper in here to protect your parts. Um, this little baggie right here contained uh, the backlight. So we are going to mod this Game Boy and install a backlight for it. And I went ahead and attached the wires here to uh, this ribbon. So you will have to um, solder on the wires to these two points here. So you've got a positive and negative there. And I also ordered the Bivert chip. And what this is going to do is um, all the pixels that are off, it's going to turn them on. And all the ones that are on, it's going to turn them off. And when we install the new polarizer film, you'll see that um, when you turn it in one direction, it's light. And when you turn it in the opposite direction on the screen, it'll darken up. What we're going to do is we're going to install it with with it uh, being dark on the screen and that's going to really enhance the contrast um, with the backlight. So it's going to come with a wire for uh, the ground and I went ahead and attached that as you can see. And then I ordered uh, some extra polarizer film for a upcoming uh, project that we're going to work on and a new glass screen to replace this one. This one's all scratched up, made of plastic and uh, so we're going to replace it with a glass screen that's going to be a lot more scratch resistant it's going to look a lot better um, once we get that backlight installed. On the Game Boy itself there are going to be four screws on the outside and there are two located on the inside. A lot of times the screws here are going to be tri-wing, so you are going to need a tri-wing screwdriver. However, all of mine are Phillips head. Um, they come in either or, and mine just so happen to be Phillips head, so we are going to go ahead and remove those. Okay, so I've managed to get all of these screws out. As you can see here, we've got six screws. We'll slide those back and we'll need those later. If you can look on the inside here, we see quite a bit of corrosion. So what I'm gonna do when I open this up is I'm going to remove these plates here and we're gonna soak them in white vinegar. White vinegar usually does a really good job of cleaning off any corrosion. And so let's go ahead and open this up. Now when you open up the Game Boy, you want to be uh, careful. It is attached with a ribbon cable. Let's see if we can see that. See that right there? All right. So in order to detach that, you're simply just going to get your fingers in there and pull straight down. Just like that. And that will release the ribbon cable. Now, upon further inspection here, the board looks really good. 
I don't see any corrosion here around the battery contacts. Copper plating looks good here. There, there is some flux um, that was left here on the board. And on this side, yeah, this looks pretty good. But we're going to clean all of this. Um, we're going to clean it with isopropyl. We'll drop some isopropyl down in, into this contrast wheel. And, uh, and then down here on the, the volume wheel as well. We'll drop some isopropyl down in there. And the next shot here, I'm going to have the boards removed and we'll just have just the shell. So um, in order to take the boards off, you've got a couple of screws holding it here. There's two here, and there's two here, and then this should lift right off. Okay, so I've gone ahead and removed the screws. So now we want to get the board removed. And that should just pop out just like that. The battery contacts here don't look that bad either. Um, this one's going to need a little bit of cleaning up but I will get get that scrubbed down with some some white vinegar and some isopropyl. Other than that it all looks to be in really good condition. Before I took this apart this is a working and functioning Game Boy. Um, so I would have to every once in a while kind of move the batteries around to get it to come on but cleaning these contacts should eliminate that. So we'll set that board aside. And now we could take the power switch off, which just comes right off the top here. And then we're going to remove these four screws here to take the, uh, the cartridge shield off. Okay, so we've got all the screws removed from the shield, so that's going to lift right up like that. We'll set that aside. All right. Now, in order to get the battery terminal uh, contacts here, on the inside there is a little flat pin here and then two on the inside right here. You're going to push those in and then it should pop right out. Push that in and there's the first one. And as you can see it's definitely going to need some cleaning. There's the second one. And there's the third and final one. All right. So I'm going to set those to the side and we'll get those in some white vinegar and let those soak. And then <clears throat> for the shell itself, we're going to soak this in a nice hot soapy bath. And I'll get in here with a toothbrush and get in here and get any kind of dirt and grime out of all of these crevices and clean it up really nice. So we'll set that aside and let's get this board out. Now this board is held in with several uh, Phillips head screws. You got two up top on each side of the ribbon. Uh, there's one here. There's one here, there's two here, and there's three on this side. And uh, one right here as well. So several screws. So we'll get these taken out. Okay, so we got all the screws taken out of the board. And now the board itself should lift right up. This might take some, some wiggling here.
Yeah. Definitely going to take a little bit of force, a little bit of uh, maneuvering here. This board sits on top of these poles here. There we go. Screen looks good. But there is the screen. The speaker is not that dirty at all, but <clears throat> we will get that cleaned up as well. And then we've got our membranes here, and they don't look to be in too bad a shape. Not that dirty. I took pretty good care of this. This is my, like I said, my childhood um, Game Boy, and I took pretty good care of it. Never had any issues with it. But we will get all of this taken out. Now our next step is I'm going to pop this screen off. This screen has come off before and I believe I put it back on with a couple of drops of super glue. So I can't, oh, it popped right off. Fantastic. All right. And as you can see, it left behind a lot of adhesive here, um, but we can get that cleaned up. Most likely uh, what I'll end up doing is just taking a, the flat end of a screwdriver here. Let's see if I can show you and just kind of scrape away yeah that's going to come right off but you can see here where um, I can scrape a lot of this right off and I'm not putting a lot of pressure on it I'm just rubbing it back and forth so that should clean up pretty nice that's going to be covered up anyway with a new glass screen so I'm not too worried about it um, there is some adhesive here on the inside and we're going to go ahead and remove that. And that should be all one piece there. Just like so. There's the adhesive that goes around the inside here and we'll just set that off to the side so now our next step is I'm going to like I said clean this off uh, this adhesive we're gonna get all of these parts in a nice soapy bath I'm gonna get these battery contacts over here in some white vinegar and then while those are soaking uh, we can work on the screen um, the backlight uh, in order to, to do this, we're going to have to remove these two screws here. We'll have to remove this screw and this one. And then we'll be able to get a, uh, a spudger and pry up the back of the screen. And then we'll need to take a razor blade and remove the reflective film and the polarizer film all in one all in one pull. That's going to be the most difficult part about this entire operation. The rest is pretty simple. The bivert chip is going to go on this side and we will need, uh, we'll need to bring up pins six and seven on the connector here. So we'll just count over to six and seven. Uh, we're going to run some flux on that, heat those up and pry those off. And then um, on the bivert chip itself, pins six and seven will actually sit right here. Let me see if I can get that to focus. Right here, six and seven will fit on, on those little pads right there. And then there are three connectors here. So there's this pad right here, there's this pad, and there's another pad over here. We'll drop some... Um, some solder into all of those and that will be our bivert chip mod then the ground wire is going to connect to this top post right here Let's see if right here so we'll put some flux on that add a little extra um, solder to it we'll trim the wire up a little bit because the wire is a little too long and then 
so we'll, we'll probably trim it to about right there and then we'll get that attached and that'll be it we'll get it all put back together and we will have ourselves a nice backlit biverted um, Game Boy here but okay let's uh let's get this stuff to the bath and let's get those those battery contacts into the white vinegar bath okay so I've got the shell the membranes uh, everything that I said that I was going to wash it has been washed and it is now drying so while that's drying we're going to take a look at the board here and what we're going to do now is just give it a good cleaning with uh, some q-tips and some isopropyl alcohol um, I recommend 91% or higher anything below 91% is gonna have too much water in it and uh, it's not gonna evaporate as quickly but we're gonna focus on these pads this is where the directional pads start select a and B buttons are we're going to douse some isopropyl into the uh, contrast wheel we're also going to uh, hit up the earphone jack here as well as um, the DC plug and the volume rocker and uh, we'll we'll hit up this uh, battery contact too so let's just go ahead and get started on that get this wiped off here side and now we just want to really work in that isopropyl when you start to hear it squeak it's pretty clean Let me get this zoomed in a little more. There we go. All right, and look at that. <clears throat> oh yeah, getting it clean. Okay, so we got uh, the shell all cleaned up, looking good. And all the buttons, and here's the uh, the battery contacts. They turned out looking really nice after letting them soak in white vinegar. They look a lot better. Alright, so our next step is going to be to remove the reflector and polarizer film from the screen. And in order to do that, we're going to remove these two screws here. And we'll lift up the LCD screen and then we'll need to take a razor blade and get between the glass and that polarizer film and cut about a centimeter into it and then it should just peel right off okay so let's get started I'm going to in here And we want to remove these pads. There's one. There's a second one. Now this is going to be the most challenging part, is removing this film. should be good
it does take some force to pull this up. So you definitely don't want slippery fingers. But it should be a pretty clean removal. You shouldn't have much uh, adhesive left on the screen. But if there is any adhesive, that can be removed with some Q-tips and isopropyl. Almost got it. Alright, there it is. So this is the reflector film and then the polarizer is right here on top of it. Our next step is going to be cleaning the inside of, uh, of this lens here, this LCD, and then we'll get the backlight put in. Alright, so our next step is to install the backlight. The backlight's going to have a protective film on it. And that just gets removed like that. Then we're going to place the backlight behind the LCD. And it should just drop right in. Make sure it's lined up good. like that. Then we're going to want to solder these two wires. Now red's going to be your positive, blue's going to be your negative, and where we are going to solder those is right here where you see this capacitor. Where the capacitor attaches there's two points right here. The left is going to be your positive, the right is going to be your negative. So you're just going to want to take your wires, solder your positive to that point, and your negative to that point. Okay, once you have your two wires soldered into place, you can then take these wires and tuck them into this hole and let them hang out in the back because there's plenty of room back here in the back for them not to get in the way. So we'll just take these... I can get them bunched up together here. Well, come on. And then just pull them through that hole and they can just hang out in the back, back here, like that. Now when you go to screw all this back into place, back into the shell, you want to make sure that these wires aren't getting in the way of your screw holes. So just be mindful of that. All right, now I'm going to hook it all up and test that the backlight works. All right, so I got the shell temporarily temporarily put back together. We're just going to test that this backlight works. Let's go ahead and fire it on. And there it is. And the volume's working good. Now, you don't see an image because I don't have the polarizer film put in place yet. But once I do, you will see... Um, You'll see an image on that LCD, but the backlight is good to go. 
Okay, now here's the polarizer film, and there is going to be a protective film on both sides of this, if I'm not mistaken. So, here is the first one. I can get it with my tweezers. There we go. Try not to touch this and leave any fingerprints on it. And let's see what we got going on in the back here. Okay, so I got the, the film removed off the polarizer, and now we are going to drop it between the backlight and the screen. When we do this, we're going to want to make sure that we drop it to where it's dark because we're going to be adding that Bivert chip. So you can see where it's dark there, but if I turn it, uh, it's light. We want it to be dark. So let's get that orientation correct in there. There we go. Just like that. Alright, so now we're done with this. And it's time to move on to the Bivert chip. Now, as stated before, we're going to need to lift up pins 6 and 7. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And it should be Pin 6 should be just on the other side of, let's see if I can get this focused, just on the other side of this connection point uh, right here. So pin 6 should be right in here and then 7. But I will go ahead and get those lifted up and then I'll come back and show you. All right, I'm going to show you what I mean by lift those pins up. Let's see if I can get it focused in here. All right. You see how those two pins have been lifted up and I'm able to slide my razor blade underneath them? That is what you want. Because when you go to put this Bivert chip in, there's going to be two points right there, those two lines, where you're going to lay each of those legs onto each of those lines, and that's how it's going to connect. All right, so I'm going to get the chip installed and come back. All right, so got the ground wire soldered in the pins connected here and then solder dropped in to these three points here once you have these lined up correctly you'll see the three solder points so now that all of that's put uh, together and installed we can assemble the entire uh, Game Boy and we should be done uh, besides installing the new glass screen we should be done. All right, let's assemble. All right, so we've got it all put back together. And looking good. And now the final thing that we need to do is install this glass screen. And then we will be done with this mod. So let's go ahead and get this done. All right. Where, oh where, here we go. All right, so we'll remove that. And then we'll remove this adhesive on the back here. 
Let me get my tweezers here. There we go. And we'll need to remove this middle section here as well. down make sure I get all this plastic out of the way there we go we'll slide this up where I can see it better there we go so that is stuck on there and now the final removal of the plastic and we'll give this another good wipe and there it is all done There you have it folks, I've just backlit, uh, put a backlight on the on the screen, and a bivert chip on my childhood Game Boy. Hope you've enjoyed the content. If you have, go ahead and leave that thumbs up. If you have not yet subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, hit the bell icon so you receive all notifications every single time I upload new content. Hope you are having a fantastic week. I know I am. I'm Tad Collector, and have a good one.